Hi there. Welcome to the Hotlogix tutorial. In this video, we'll understand on tracking payments using Hotlogix. Hotlogix provides you easy ways of managing all the payments that come to you at different stages of a booking. So, one is the advanced deposit tracker which is called the booking deposit tracker and this is found under room operations here. So, we have this booking deposit tracker here which gives you the details of the advances. We have a payment tracker which gives you the details of any payment that is overshot the limit that you might be comfortable with in the sense the guest has given a deposit but has exceeded the deposit so that reservation will automatically get highlighted here and the third one is the pending folios wherein reservation has been closed and checked out and instead of bill on hold any bill that has been unpaid will show up here so one by one the booking deposit tracker has two parts the first part is the list which shows the pending booking deposits and the second part which shows the overdue booking deposits. So in pending booking deposits we have the option to send emails. So I click on the email and it will let me send the email from here or and I can put in the email ID if it's not already there and I can add a custom message to the email which can be added from here. Okay. The email that is uh, sent is configured from the admin console. So it's a standard format email that will be created with the actual reservation details that will be sent. And whenever an email is sent, remember that not only does the guest get the reminder to make the payment, but also a link to which the guest can log in and pay directly online. So in case you are connected to a payment gateway through Hotlogix, and you can pretty much get connected to any payment gateway you want, the guest can use that payment gateway to make the payment and that will be automatically updated in the system. In case of over, overdue booking deposits, uh, you get the option to again send reminders or you can even release the payment. And before releasing the payment, if there is some kind of an advance or uh, some kind of a cancellation charge you would want to levy on the reservation, you can do that. So I can hit this and say release. And every time I do that, remember the cancellation email is also sent directly to the guest automatically. The next tracker is the payment tracker that we talked about. Here in case the guest has uh, exceeded the limit, you can just see all the reservations wherein the deposit has been made, but the guest has overstayed or exceeded the limit in terms of credit that he has taken. So you can click on that reservation. It opens the statement of account and you can directly request the guest to make an interim payment depending on your hotel policies. And the third one is the pending folios wherein you will see all the reservations wherein the payment has not been made even after checkout. So that brings us to the end of the session of payment tracking. I hope you enjoyed the videos and will join me in the subsequent videos wherein I'll also tell you about the accounting section of Outlogix wherein the bills that are transferred to the ledgers or the accounts of say travel agent or corporate customers that you might have, you can track your payments from these customers from these agents or uh, corporates directly in accounts. Thank you. Have a nice day.